Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a different room, I am at my dad's house and basically today we are leaving and going down to the borders, go on a trip with my dad's side of the family because it is my grandma's 80th birthday on Wednesday. We're all like coming together, a big family holiday to celebrate my grandma's 80th birthday. So it is my dad, my stepmom, my brother and my sister and me going down in the car today. My stepmom's actually going to join us on Monday or Tuesday I think. It's like a bunch of my family that are kind of related to me, kind of not with like step parents and things so a lot of them I haven't really seen for like five to ten years and there's going to be about 30 of us there. It is near a town called Melrose in the Scottish Borders so that will be really fun and I'm not too sure what we're going to do so I've packed three books. If I sound a little bit off or like nasally or something I've got a little bit of a cough. I have tested three times this week for Covid and it has been negative every single time. I don't think I've got Covid however I do have quite a bad cough. That might be why my voice is a little bit off. It sounds a little bit off to me but I'm not sure if you can pick up on it. Let's go and see the Scottish borders. We have arrived at our accommodation. We are staying at Kippalaw House in the borders near Melrose like I said. I'm staying in the room with me, Erica and our sort of cousin Victoria but before she comes and settles in I thought I would do a quick room tour. The rooms in here are amazing. I'm not sure how many of them I'll get to show you because obviously people are staying in the rooms and I don't think a lot of these people will want to be on camera so I thought I would just quickly show you this room. This room is absolutely Massive. We've obviously got three single beds, but we've got bedside tables beside them and the plug socket situation looks good. And a full length mirror through here is my dad and stepmom's room and then they've got a really cool ensuite so I suppose we can use that one as well which has got a bath and a shower which I will show you in a second. A little sofa which is quite nice for hanging out in storage but I think we'll just be living out of our suitcases. I'm going to show you the view. It's amazing. It's a really nice day here today. Look down there. It looks like a little bit of a flower garden. And we haven't really looked around the grounds yet, so I'm excited to see those. Let's move quickly into Dad and Shona's bedroom, if you want to follow me. So this is my dad and my stepmom's bedroom. It's a lot smaller, but I mean, it does everything that they want it to do. And then if you follow me through here, there is their ensuite bathroom, which we will be using as well. I quite like the decor. It sort of lives up to, like, the whole house itself. It's sort of old-fashioned, but still quite stylised and vintage. I feel like I'm in inside of a dollhouse that I used to play with when I was little. You follow me through to the ensuite bathroom. This is what it looks like. I think this is my second favourite bathroom. There is absolutely beautiful light coming through here, as you can see. Lovely old fashioned toilet. I like that the toilet rolls in a triangle. And one thing I'm really excited about is we've got an option of a shower and a bath. This is probably my favourite kind where the shower is in the bath. I'm very happy about that and um, probably when we get back from the shops we're going to head out to the shops now to pick up some stuff for breakfast and when we get back I'm probably going to unpack and put all my little bath products in the bathroom I'm excited. Those are the rooms that I'm going to show you for now. I'm going to head out now with my dad to go and get some stuff for the breakfast for the family and then when I come back we'll possibly continue the tour of this amazing house. How many bedrooms do you think are in here? There has to be at least 10 bedrooms in here and probably around about eight bathrooms. Some bathrooms just have a toilet and some bathrooms have ones like this and obviously the main bedrooms like these ones will have en suites. My grandma and my grandpa have got the biggest and best bedroom and bathroom which I'm so excited to show you because obviously we're here for my grandma's birthday. That will come a bit later. Very excited to show you the rest of the house. Welcome to the main bedroom. This is where my grandma and my grandpa are going to be sleeping. Everyone is outside right now so I'm keeping my voice down a little bit but I still want to show you before everyone properly moves in. You can see they've got their gorgeous big bed. Over around here we've got a sofa and the chaise long. we'll talk about the views in a minute, a bookcase with a staircase up to the bookcase, there's the dog's bed in the corner, lovely beautiful sitting area with fireplace, it's just absolutely massive, like, hello! I don't know if you can see these views, these are amazing as well, we'll cover the grounds later, I haven't even really seen the grounds yet myself, but let's move on to the special bathroom that my grandma and my grandpa have. Welcome to their own suite. I'm not really sure but there's a chair here in the fireplace, but they've got a lovely big shower over this way. And then we've got this gorgeous big sink with a lovely mirror and the main attraction, the freestanding bathtub. This is probably the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in my whole life. And this is the landing area. These are the stairs down here to downstairs. We are on the first floor right now. There is two floors. So there's our bedroom, bedroom number one. 
That's the bathroom. I'm on Grandpa's bedroom number two. Dad and Shona is next to ours, so that's three bedrooms so far. There's more bedrooms in there. The upstairs bit is in there, so I think they've locked the door right now because uh, there's a little baby here and I think she's sleeping. But there's more rooms in there and it goes upstairs. Later, I went upstairs to show you the rooms when the door was unlocked. And there are tons more bedrooms upstairs, more than I could even really show you. I didn't really want to go into any rooms because people had moved in by this point. But as you can see, there's some down that way and some down that way. And then coming back down to where I came from, I went back down to the bottom floor into the hallway. And then I headed into the first living room, which is the smaller of the two. This is what this one looks like. Really nice. Love the old timey decor in here. Like I said before, it just really feels like you're inside of a dollhouse. This is the second living room, the bigger one, or we called it the red living room. I think such attention to detail has been put into this house, which makes it feel really special. Back into the hallway and showed myself in the mirror there, hello. Heading into the dining room, this is where we had all of our meals, beautiful big grand piano there. And surprisingly enough, we all fit around the table, which I thought was too big to host any of us. But we all fit, there was enough of us, and beautiful dining room, which joined onto the kitchen, like you can see here. Really beautiful, big style, sort of cottagey feel kitchen with like the old appliances as well. There was an aga in there, which was lovely. So that concludes my tour of the inside of the house. Hope you enjoyed. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I've tried to slick back my hair in this bun style, but I think from the mousse it just looks still wet and greasy so I'm still working on that I look like an egg. I've run through the rest of the house so hopefully I've done a voiceover with that because I didn't want to vlog in front of other people I've just come out the front of the house so I'm going to show you a little bit around the grounds I've not been too far myself, thought I'd show you what the house looks like so we've just come out the front door which is there, obviously we've got all the cars lined up at the front here but this is the house we are staying in Kippelaw House. Like I said, it's near Melrose in the Scottish borders. And as you come out the front, this is what you see. So people were like sitting there last night having drinks. So there's a big lawn bit with like a dining area, which is nice. The driveway is down there. It goes on for about half a mile. It's so long. So we're really secluded. We can't really hear anything at all, which is great. And this is our house. I've just walked around the house here. We're coming out the front this way. There is a beautiful flower garden here. Dad says there's some butterflies dancing up here, so we're gonna go and take a look. <gasps> look at this one. Oh my God, look at them. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I hope I can see them on camera. Oh, they love that flower. I'm gonna make a cameo in the video, Bella. This is my grandma and grandpa's dog, Bella. She's gorgeous. You're having the time of your life out here, aren't you? Just got free rain. We literally don't know where she is most of the time because the grounds are so big, but it's all pretty safe because we're so far away from everything. So we're just letting her have the time of our life. There's this beautiful bit here, which I might sit at and read. Nice that it's covered by these bits. When you come through here, there's some steps down there to the lovely lawn that me and Erica were sitting in last night. This is also, I think, a prime reading spot so i believe you can actually walk all the way down there i don't really know where that leads but there is also a couple of paths up that way as well i love the way that the plants just kind of take over the building it's lovely not really got any plan for today we've done a rota there's like 30 of us here and we've got a rota for the cooking and cleaning up so last night i cleaned up dinner we had soup as a starter they made a uh, pea or pumpkin i went for a pumpkin and then for mains there was frittata which I didn't really like that much. I forgot to tell them I don't really like egg, which is my fault. So I just had some salad, but then it didn't really matter because it was a three course meal. And for dessert, I had meringue, fruit, and sorbet, which was lovely. So I did not go hungry at all. However, it did mean that the cleanup duty, there was four of us doing cleanup, including me, and it took us two hours to clean up everyone's dinner from last night. And I was doing washing up pretty much the whole time because we didn't really know where the plates and everything were to go back because it was different people that were cleaning up that had cooked, if that makes sense. So most of the faff was just trying to find out where all the clean stuff went after I'd washed it. My back is a little bit sore today, so I think that's why. It's now 20 past 10 and I don't really think we've got any plans for today. My grandma's birthday is tomorrow. See, so you can go down that way where the driveway is. There's a way around the house back there, but I think that's just round to the back and I think the owners of the house live in a kind of like outhouse around the back anyway so I don't want to explore down there too much but you can also go like around the grassy bit in the middle there and then there's also a path down here 
So I haven't been down those yet. Maybe I'll save those for later. <laughs> Are you filming this shirt? Mm-hmm. <laughs>